this week's request is courtesy of Paul uh, from the YouTube. Uh, and Paul wants me to review Zulu. Yeah, I didn't need asking twice uh, for my take on Zulu, because uh, I bloody love Zulu. Yes, a ripping yarn of heroic deeds from the Zulu War, as 150 British soldiers have to defend Rock's Drift against 4,000 Zulu warriors. Uh, and faced with these insurmountable odds, the British have nothing more to rely on than courage, and of course, their significantly advanced weaponry. And it stars Stanley Baker as John Marriott Chard, uh, and a young Michael Caine as Gonville Bromhead. What a great name that is, Gonville. Uh, it's posh name, it's posh bloke. Uh, and Kane uh, is putting on a posh accent for it. Uh, although sometimes it slips a nickel bit. I'll tell my man to clean your kit. And also it stars Steptoe and Son uh, as a couple of soldiers. Uh, at least I thought it was Steptoe and Son. Uh, if not, they look very similar. Uh, a very similar relationship and all. And it's got a brilliant soundtrack uh, from John Barry. Who, uh, who did the Bond music and all, didn't he? Uh, but yeah, very dramatic soundtrack. Uh, just some bloody good soundtracks, does uh, John Barry, doesn't he? Not to be confused with Barry John, uh, who was the Welsh rugby player in the 1970s. Uh, although, to be fair, you could confuse Barry John with some of the folk in Zulu, because look at them sideburns. Uh, impressive chops, them. Uh, and there's loads of impressive chops in Zulu, not least Nigel Green uh, and uh, Dave the barman from Minder. Now, of course, we can't talk about Zulu uh, and not mention the classic scene where they have the sing-off. Uh, the Zulu warriors start off with their uh, lovely melodic singing that they do. Uh, and uh, in response, uh, the British blokes start singing Men of Arlick. Stop your dreaming. Uh, and that's because in the film, they're all Welshmen. Uh, in reality, though, they weren't. They were all from Warwickshire, I think. So obviously, this didn't happen. Uh, but it's, it's artistic license, isn't it? It's artistic license. Because uh, it creates a brilliant scene, doesn't it? And a fantastic moment of drama as the two adversaries sing off against each other. Really gets your dander up, doesn't it? And, and I don't even know what a dander is. Uh, but whatever a dander is, mine is most definitely up. And it's been very influential, Zulu. Uh, loads of other films have nicked ideas off it, uh, especially Gladiator, when they ripped off some of the Zulu chanting. Yeah, bloody good film, Gladiator. Uh, but when I heard that sound effect being recycled, it took me out of the movie, you know, because it's unmistakable, isn't it? It's definitely Zulus. Uh, and if you love watching historical epic movies like I do, then you'd notice it straight away, wouldn't you? Really annoyed me that. But it ain't the only film uh, that rips off Zulu. I found myself watching John Carpenter's Assault on Precinct 13 the other night, which, if you ain't seen it, uh, is about a few folk in this police station uh, who were completely outnumbered by these horrible gang members, and they have to hold the gang members off until the reinforcements come. It is Zulu. And that bloke looks very good jumping out with his rifle, doesn't he? Uh, looks very dynamic whilst he's, uh, he's murdering people. And the other week, I was watching 13 Hours, a Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, uh, about these blokes uh, protecting some embassy in Libya. Uh, that was Zulu and all. Now, in more recent years, some folk have suggested that Zulu uh, might be a little bit racist, uh, which I think is a shame. 
personally. I don't think it is racist. Uh, but then I must stress, it's a bit like beauty being in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? It's not really for me to say whether it's racist or not. Uh, you know, it's more for Zulu folk to say whether it's racist. I didn't think that they were portrayed negatively in it. So maybe the reason folk think it's racist is because it portrays an era uh, when the conduct of the British Empire were somewhat morally and ethically questionable, uh, to say the least. So I didn't think the movie were racist, uh, but I'm more than happy to listen to viewpoints of folk who thought that maybe it was, just in case I'm wrong. And anybody who does think it's racist, well, they can watch Zulu Dawn, which were about the battle of Isandlwana. Uh, and the Zulus win that one. They wipe the floor with the Brits. Uh, and the British are made out to be absolute knobheads in that one. Yeah. Any road, Zulu. Uh, yeah, I bloody love Zulu. Uh, I think it's gripping. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, it ain't racist. Uh, so folk will be able to carry on watching it for years to come. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, like it. Share it about with your mates. Uh, subscribe, click in the, the bell and thing to get notified about stuff. And I'll see you next week for another review. Okie doke.